you know, I was working on, on an app uh, in 2013, right before React came out. And uh, I did not pick React because of uh, better developer experience. Like I picked React because uh, like we just couldn't create the kind of dynamic UI that we wanted uh, with Backbone. Yeah. So we were using Backbone at the time and uh, our app was uh, kind of, um, it was kind of a mixed app where there were parts that were content heavy. You know, you, you would be able to like create posts that look kind of like magazine layouts with, you know, covers and like text. Uh, do you remember in like 2013, uh, scroll check-in was the, was the thing, like parallel like <laughs> scroll-in, except like we actually, you know, we, we hooked into request and emission frame, like we actually made sure that it's fast and so on. Like it, it was not janky, it was actually really cool. Uh, although the effect is not popular anymore. But anyway, like <laughs> we, we, like our app let users create uh, those kinds of things. And so that part of the app was uh, pretty content heavy, right? But then the editor, so like we needed to build an editor for these posts. And in the editor, you needed to kind of drag and drop different kinds of blocks. It would need like instantly show a preview. And it's just, with Backbone, it's just, it was just super hard to even make it work. And React uh, made it so much easier to deliver those features that we were able to, uh, we started the React rewrite like in the process. And uh, we rewrote the whole app in React in like nine months. And we added features while rewriting. So React actually let us finish the product uh, that we didn't even know if we could like make it work otherwise. And so I think the reason a lot of people picked React is not because they're uh, misled by a cabal of uh, Illuminati, <laughs> uh, but because yes. <laughs> people who were busy it's, not just... Better. Yeah, like people who were not only busy and, you know, uh, with all respect to people who like work on the standards, work on the, like all of this stuff, stuff is super important but i think you do need to be in those shoes of you're building a really dynamic thing and the tools just don't cut it like they can't express this kind of complexity and that is why a lot of people picked react and it also comes down to user experience not just developer experience because the user experience we wanted is drag and drop the user experience we wanted is you press a button you see the result as it happens and that was difficult to do with with existing tools uh, at the time in a way that composes uh, to, to like bigger teams. But I, I think what we've seen is this really like focus on the client side. It is correct. Like it is the good approach to build and reach uh, you know intera interactions that have to happen instantly. But where it doesn't work as good is when it's content oriented or when there's a lot of data fetching going on. And, uh, and like these kinds of things, because they're just more natural to do uh, with uh, kind of request response model where, you know, if you were writing PHP, you're just like, I'm going to grab some stuff from the database. I'm going to render it. Like you don't think of it from the perspective of I'm writing a page that has an effect, that has a fetch, that does a set state, that like calls something. Like you really want to express it as passing the data down because people start, people like the React Composition model so much and uh, people found it valuable that they tried to build bigger and bigger apps using React that some of them are more content oriented. Uh, and I think that is the gap that we want to fill uh, feel a bit better. And we think that model just, uh, you know, we want to kind of unify the models.